this video, we're going to take a look at some of the enhancements that's been made to the blending node. One of the new enhancements is that I can control the opacity when the foreground and background is being blended with a mask. So for instance, I can come over to the opacity slider and I can actually change the opacity value. Control over alpha blending has been added as well. So for instance, by default, you can see that it's set to use the source alpha. However, I can change this to ignore the alpha, straight alpha blending, or pre-multiplied alpha blending, which is only going to work in the copy blending mode. New blending modes have also been added. Divide, overlay, screen, and soft light. 